Oh, oh God, make it stop. Oh God, make it stop, make it stop. I just, rev- here's my season two, episode one of Batwoman. My reviews are back. Roll the footage, monkeys. We start out where every CW superhero show starts. And living in a van down by the river. But where are my manners? Before we start, please allow me to slip into the appropriate attire to review Batwoman. Season 2, Episode 1. Whatever happened to Kate Kane? There we go. Now I feel more at home. So the new Batwoman, Ryan Wilder, witnesses a jet crashing where her van is literally parked down by the river. I'm not joking. I can't make this shit up. So while she's sifting through the wreckage of this jet crash, she's having flashbacks of her mother being murdered. Oh yeah, the first thing she sees laying on the ground is the fucking bat suit. Along with the landlord from the new apartment they had just moved into as... The first time they walked in, there were squatters there who would attack, assault, and kill her adopted mother, which we find out she's adopted, her landlord, and she would try to resuscitate her mother, and this will come into play later, trust me. Oh yeah, the first thing she sees laying on the ground is the fucking bat suit. Gay! All the while she's having these flashbacks, she's giving CPR to a plane crash survivor. Or a homeless guy on the beach who happened to be laying down by the river. I don't. I don't know. It didn't. I don't really think it mattered. Okay, now, to be fair. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Meanwhile, back at the Bat Cave, <laughs> Mary Hamilton and Luke Fox are desperately trying to reach Kate, whose flight is the one that crashed. Yeah, surprise, surprise. They killed her off in a plane crash. Mary and Luke put it together that it crashed. Because in a shot of Ryan, while she's sifting around through the wreckage, they show the tail number of the plane in the background so the discerning viewer can connect the dots. Come on, don't bullshit me. So Ryan finds the bat suit in the wreckage and we're off and running with GCPD, Fire and Rescue, plus Jacob Kane and the Crows are on the scene with Sophie in tow. Alice is seen in the background looking pissed off at the scene of the crash, probably because she didn't get to kill Kate herself, although they were sisters. Alice, the psychopath, wanted to kill Kate because, you know, unresolved daddy issues and whatnot. So Luke and Mary enter the main office at Wayne Enterprises, only to be shocked by the appearance of Bruce Wayne. But it's not Bruce Wayne, it's Tommy with a new face, crafted by Alice out of dead skin, so yay, Bruce Wayne's back, yay. We go back to Wayne Enterprises, and Bruce is hanging out with Luke and Mary. She leaves to see Jacob after the crash, then we get Luke taking, quote, Bruce to the Batcave. Ryan is talking to her parole officer, and we get the whole, quote, Ryan was innocent because of her crimes, because of dirty cops, and the white therapist couldn't possibly understand how hard it is for an ex-convict. And I honestly was waiting for her just to blame systemic racism and white supremacy and the whole thing, and... I guess I should take this opportunity to say I denounce white supremacy. I I don't know. Maybe it's just something you have to do these days. I'm not sure. I mean, I thought it was fairly obvious, but maybe not. Uh (laughs) Then we get a real aesthetic treat as Julia Pennyworth and Sophie are featured in a scene together. And you know what that means. The lesbian! (laughs) This is from last season, but I think it deserves a full screen. Hey, it's my goddamn video. Go complain somewhere else. Bruce slips up and mentions that he knows Alice is Beth and has to cover his tracks, but then he gets the kryptonite from Luke, which is exactly what he came for, and Luke just fucking gives it to him, kind of like Spider-Man just gave Mysterio the Stark Tech glasses within 15 minutes of meeting him because he needs a daddy finger. So Ryan is in a dirty bathroom at a gas station, visualizing the salt that left her mother dead as she puts on the bat suit. The corny music reminiscent of the season one crescendos as she puts on the cowl and says time to be powerful sure, Jan. so donning her new batwoman outfit ryan wilder goes out in the streets of gotham she immediately finds two criminals big enough to kind of intimidate me a little bit and i'm 6'3 and about 230 pounds and shoots one in the leg with a batarang kicks the other one into a car and then threatens to shoot him in the face saying well i'll press this button and i don't know what it does So during the fracas, she presses a button and it puts the suit online. 
Luke sees that it's momentarily active, and she's swinging around on her little fucking bat wire. Get shot a few times, to which she says, I'm bulletproof, bitches. I'm not making that up. That's what she fucking says. <laughs> you serious? We're then at Wayne Manor, and Bruce is leaving his bedroom with two women in his bed. Alice shows up, appears, she's drunk. Bruce shows Alice he has acquired the kryptonite. Bruce or Tommy or whatever the fuck you want to call him are, and Alice are arguing about Kate's death and her master plan, blah, blah, blah. Then one of the whores comes downstairs and Alice immediately throws a knife, hits her in the neck after she says, Bruce, there's no steam in the steam shower. There's some more nonsense dialogue and she leaves after basically threatening to expose Tommy as being a fraud. Because that's what heroes do. Ryan is out wandering around in the bat suit. And Luke and Mary are looking for it, of course, using the tracker, like they're playing fucking Pokemon Go or some shit. They find her in the sewer and go running up on her like they found their lost puppy, only to see it's Ryan wearing the suit after they're all like, Kate, Kate, oh my god, Kate, uh. During an extremely cringeworthy and social justice-laden equality charge monologue, Wilder rabbles on about being nothing but a number. Honestly, I stopped paying attention to what she was saying and just tried to focus on how hot Javicia Leslie is. But her bland as fuck delivery all but ruins any hopes of that. I mean, I paused the fucking scene to type this. Like, in real time. I stopped the fucking show to type two or three sentences about how bad her fucking terrible acting is. And I'm barely halfway through this godforsaken episode of Batwoman. I hate this fucking show. Oh yeah, and all this trying to give her reasons why she's not going to give the bat suit back until she murders her adopted mother's killer. But the undertones of most systemic injustice are heavy-handed like Ray Rice in an elevator with his wife. <coughs> Bruce or Tommy or Johnny or Billy or who the fuck he is goes over to see Jacob, turns over Alice. Then he goes to see Julia who picks up he's not Bruce because he doesn't get an Alfred reference. Blah, blah. Uh, Ryan is in her van reading an article about Kate. Ryan sees that Kate was an open lesbian, very alphabet community friendly. Meanwhile, Mary is looking into Ryan's background and finds Alice's gang killed Ryan's adopted mother because of fucking course they did. They had to connect this shit show somehow. And she is talking to her plant the whole fucking time. Remember the description of the show? She lives in her van down by the river with her fucking plant. Luke and Mary have a moment. And Ryan still has the suit in her van. And she turns on the GPS and says, come get it. Julia, Mary, and Luke discover that Tommy is Bruce. And Luke melts down when he realizes what he's done in giving Tommy the kryptonite. Tommy's in the Batcave. Finds the Batmobile, which looks like they took a fucking rented car and just put some stickers on it or some of those magnets to make it look like the Batmobile and then we have to take it back after a couple hours. Uses the Batmobile, looks at the GPS on the screen in the Batcave, sees the fucking Batsuits online, and Mary and Luke arrive just after he leaves. How convenient. Jacob goes to Bruce's mansion to find Alice playing the piano, his gun drawn. Yeah, she gets away, of course, because she has a meltdown, tells Daddy her plan, blah, blah, blah and yells, Kate's Batwoman! And he says, yeah, I'm the Joker. But she explains it to him, and you can tell it gets to him. She, of course, just takes his gun and leaves. What the actual fuck? Luke calls Ryan as Bruce, fuck this, as Tommy Elliot chases her van in the Batmobile, and he can't seem to catch her. Now, mind you, she's driving an old-style, like, Scooby-Doo van, and he has the fucking Batmobile. Luke tells Ryan exactly what's going on, which at this point, I'm two edibles deep, and I just wanted the pain to stop. To make it more amusing, Tommy shoots a missile at her and, of course, misses. Luke is going to attempt to hack the Batmobile, and he does. So Tommy, of course, pursues her on foot with a shotgun and finds her van. He shoots her with the kryptonite, of course, and she plays coy and, of course, uses her karate and beats him almost to death because he smashed her plant. Well, she kind of beats the fucking fake face off of him. You know, because he's a white guy and this show hates white guys. And I say that because I've seen every fucking episode of this fucking show. And every goddamn white guy is either an ineffectual idiot, a chauvinistic asshole, or a criminal, or some kind of mix of all three. Luke and Mary are sitting in Bruce's office. Mary wants to give Ryan the role of Batwoman. Luke is resistant. Ryan walks in to return the suit, blah, blah, blah. And Mary, of course, you know, starts kind of... You could see that Mary is going to take to Ryan. It's just going to happen. Back at Crow headquarters, Julia walks up to Sophie. The lesbian! 
and asks if she's still in love with Kate. Julia gives Sophie a letter left in the safe by Kate. Long, boring story short, Kate tells Sophie that she's Batwoman, blah, blah, blah. Sophie cries. Jacob goes up to the roof and fires up the bat signal and hopes Kate would appear. Ta-da! It doesn't happen. She's fucking dead. She died in a plane crash, for God's sakes. Can you believe at one point Do Gray Scott was supposed to play Wolverine? I mean, really, Wolverine. Do Gray fucking Scott was supposed to play Wolverine. Let that shit sink in. Alice is back in her sewer lair monologuing again, and a paper airplane comes flying in with a headline about Kate Kane. It says, whatever happened to Kate Kane? And it says, consider us even, Sophia or Safia or whoever this is. She's supposed to be the big bad this season. One of them, I, I don't know. And Alice lays down with Mouse's corpse and kind of hugs him, which is really freaking creepy, especially considering there's supposed to be a decent amount of time that's passed and his body hasn't decomposed at all, which is really fucking weird. So we see Ryan sitting on her van, inspecting her wound from the kryptonite, and we see a little green glow in there, and that's where we leave. Yay. It's fucking over, finally. Now for my final thoughts. Fuck, that was absolute shite. I absolutely can't wait for how fucking much worse this trash heap of a show can get. I'm literally watching Black Panther to cleanse my palate after that abortion of a television program. Well, I hated it. This season 2 premiere captured the total essence of how fucking horrifying any of these Berlanti shows are. Javicia Leslie had better be sandbagging her acting chops because this episode was a shit show of bland delivery, horrible writing, which adds up to some incomprehensible equation of garbage tiered television that I can't even fathom continuing to consume. But I will. Because I'm a masochist and you all enjoy my suffering, you sick demented bastards. Subscribe or else I'll lobotomize myself with a letter opener from this goddamn mess. That's it, I'm done. I'll catch you on the next one.